Hello YouTube, it's Jack here from JDRC Network, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys uh, my final thoughts on my clone Leopold Mark IV M1 3.5 er, to 10 by 50, er, 40 millimeter dual illumination. Sorry, I don't know. See, there's red, and then there is green over there. Um, as you can see there, it has a milled out reticle. And there, the scope has been great overall. There's been no problems with it except one. And this is the one reason why that if I gave the scope a score of 1 to 10, I would give it about a 4 or a 5. And the reason why is because I know this is a regular rifle scope. But I tried to use it on my uh, Crossman Optimus, of which I did a review on earlier. And just letting you guys know that this scope, I don't think it's meant to handle a uh, spring rifle because what happened was it um, when I took a, about four shots with it, there's some lens in here. It's like see that uh, fat ring where my finger's kind of pointing at that ring um it shifts out of place so you'll have you'll see through completely fine like this and then it'll be blocked off at the top somewhere around here and then it'll look sort of like like your image will seem like this imagine my finger is the ring and you can't see half the time uh if you guys have any suggestions on how to fix that or if you guys have um any advice on how to fix a scope uh, please let me know because I really 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 need to fix that or else I'm just gonna be stuck buying a new scope and I really don't want to do that because it's just a waste of money um, so yeah like I said I would give it about a 4 out of 10 or a uh, 2 out of 5 just because of that one problem but otherwise, if you're using it on like an airsoft rifle, it should be fine. So, um, yeah, I really have nothing else to say about the scope except it's overall great except for that one problem in here. And if you know how to fix that, then you should definitely buy the scope because the scope, not the clone version, retails at 1500 This one costs 50 So you're saving a hell of a lot of money on that. Um, yeah, so I'd recommend this to anybody who knows how to work on scopes. And that's the end of my final thoughts on the scope. Uh, if you enjoyed the commentary, press the like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you all later.